What's up YouTube, it's Matthew here once again with another video and today I will be talking about Facebook analytics and why it's so powerful and why it's so important for your Shopify uh, e-commerce website. If you're advertising on Facebook, this is the key. To me, it's more important than um, Google Analytics because if you're not running ads on Google Analytics, on, on Google AdWords, then why are you into Google Analytics? Yes, you can use it to uh, learn more insight about your company, but Facebook Analytics is the key, and I'm going to show you why and what to do. Now, in your business account on Facebook, uh, just click those three line bars you can go to all tools and analytics is right here and um, you just pick your pixel and then this will come up so right here um, Facebook analytics shows you different stats about your website so for example unique users so I have up and downs throughout the days how many unique users I have during the past 24 hours uh, it actually shows like which hours of the day uh, have uh, most of my unique u users come in so as you can see the darker ones show that it's like in the range between 300 and 400 unique users between 4 and 8 p.m. and different things in the lighter ones obviously 12 a.m. Uh, to 4 a.m. you know it's not a lot because most of my users are from USA and then and down here you have more information about your um, user so as you can see, mine says mostly um, 45 to 54 female U.S. and they use the web uh, across the thing and then, you know, different stats and how my, as you can see, it's going down. I really slowed down my ads and, you know, holidays are over with. So the main thing of showing this video is for you all to actually go into your ad account and create ad sets based off of your Facebook analytics stats after you have um, several people come into your store and you have that data. This is the data that you guys need to study and learn. And the thing with this is that you can add a segment to these pages. So for example, if you go to uh, active users. You know, this shows you your active users uh, and give you good insight. They say, you know, people speak English, uh, mobile Safari. They spend less time on your website. Well, of course, because they're on a mobile device. And, the, you know, different stats about your user activity, the different sessions, um, the age and gender. This is really important down here, um, <clears throat> age and gender. So, as you can see, it's mostly female and um you know these are the ages that most of my customers come from and so you all need to take this information and actually put it into an ad set and target these people so what I would do is I would open up my Facebook ad account and create ad sets for people from 35 to 64 who are female who are on mobile devices so that's that's why you need Facebook analytics and to understand it and it's been updating like I remember it wasn't even this like I guess in depth but now they they've been doing some big changes to it watch out Google Analytics now right here is so important people like these are the people that actually go on your website who purchase on your website and so for example I click highlights right here and it gives me different highlights about them the channel web their language English uh, the different countries the different cities so if you really really go real in depth with an ad set and really target your customers you can make an ad set for people from 35 to 64 who are female who speak english from the united states who live in dallas even though dallas only accounts for one percent of my customers if you have thousands of people that can be like a good um a good asset of like around fifty thousand people um that you want to target and then over here, you know, demographics, you go back in, basically the same thing, English. And this is so important, job titles. Like, you guys need to be implementing this in your ad sets, uh, targeting people from different job titles. Um, so when you want to flex target, that's like really narrow your targeting on your ad set. Um, create this ad set. So, for example, I would do it for people who are USA women between these ages and then I'll narrow it even down even further to people who work in management, personal care, sales, education and libraries. And these are the actual titles that you type in in your asset when you're looking for these things. So like this is Facebook, you know, this is this is the titles they use when you want to search for interests in different job titles. And you could target it even you know, smaller 
for only college age um, level people who are married and you know that can really um, create higher conversions for your store another thing is go to page likes so it'll show you all the different page likes um, that your customers or uh, visitors have visit visited here or like uh, on Facebook and you could target those pages uh, based off of that information and another very important thing is when you're on any of these pages you can create segments now it's not up here but um, up here like right above here it says add a segment and what you can do is you can like create a segment for example you can select people uh, an event based off of event so people everybody who purchased or um, anybody who added to cart it could create that segment so as you can see I have 7.79 .79 people within the past 28 days of all of my visitors that purchase and so that will really extremely target your group of people and that you could target them and like look at their demographics look at what pages they like so you can create segments I hope this is making sense but this is so important to really dig deep into Facebook analytics when you're running Facebook ads and you can also like target people who visited a specific page on your website so for example if you're selling a bracelet and you've been running ads for like a month now and you have like a thousand people that visited that page go into your Facebook analytics create that segment put in that URL you can do that easily through um, going through this condition list and then um, you can see oh are they college level people okay what are their ages is it mostly male female are they single where do they live are they Americans oh, what international um, presence do I have what page likes down here this is so important page likes is so important like honestly when I discovered that that completely changed everything so like when I would put a specific product in and I look at the different pages all I would do I would create a, like a super broad ad set just targeting those pages and like my conversions like increase dramatically but this is after you got some visitors in your store and your Facebook at uh, pixel picked up that their information and so that's what you would do <clears throat> so I hope you all really enjoy this video and let me know if you want more videos like this I'll probably make another video about um, audience insight and what you can do with that all right uh, Facebook analytics it's really important and just make sure you use the data don't just look at the data actually use the data data and put it into an ad set and target it and so for example create different ad sets like for example I would create just an ad set based off of my niche so if I'm selling dog and dog niche you know I target different dog like pages and then target people from 25 to 64 so that would be one asset another asset would be okay I'm targeting interested in dogs and I'm targeting people from 25 to 64 but then again I'm targeting people with these um, job titles so I'm narrowing it down even more down to their job titles so create different ad sets based off of this data and like you will see your conversions increase dramatically uh, so I hope you all enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe, comment down below, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.